Hello everybody, Jason David Frank and you are watching Criticolalos. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm having a great time. We're filming for my reality show, um, My Morphin Life, that we have. So uh, we were filming that out in Puerto Rico. Got a chance to uh, happen, uh, get lost yesterday to see the whole island. So that was awesome. Nice. Uh, I went to the beach, went skydiving, um, went into town. When is this uh, your reality coming out? The show this year, this season, is on Bat and Sun, uh, and it's just season one, but we have a lot of interest in season two for a lot of bigger networks and stuff like that. And then we got the whole, you know, our, uh, Spawn's rebooting the movie with Lionsgate and uh, just a whole bunch of stuff happening next year. So it's, um, it's uh, you know, I did the reality show last year, and episode three is on. Did anybody see episode three of My Morphin Life? Probably not. Yeah. Yes, maybe. Tammy's fight is uh, episode four, so her fight will be next episode, probably in a couple weeks or so. We'll release that one, and uh, so it's been fun. But this episode, a lot of good stuff. You know, Tammy crashed the rent a car. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, took Steve Gardini skydiving. And what else did we do? We, we just did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, apart from um, my morphing life, what else are, are are you gonna be working on? Uh, well, we did a movie with Bat and the Sun. It's a special ops movie that's going to be uh, probably released in October, at least the first part of it. Um, of course, you know, I still fight and all that stuff, but no fights planned as of yet. Um, and of course, I got my, you know, karate school and the clothing company. And But the biggest thing is we're doing a, a superhero beatdown. We have the White Ranger versus Scorpion. And uh, we are now filming the uh, Green Ranger superhero beatdown. That's... Um, Pretty much, I think even possibly Saban might be involved on that. So it's going to be a, a approval stamped approved uh, superhero beatdown that all the fans can like. And when I do something when it regards Power Rangers, uh, I like it to be legit. You know. Okay, Jason, we come back to Puerto Rico. Thank you, buddy. Um, you just want a free autograph, on huh? Because we talked before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know me too well. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I want to talk about uh, Power Rangers Mega Force. Uh, what is, what's a, are you still going to continue your role as, as a mentor to the, to the new upcoming uh, uh, actors, or what is uh, Tommy Oliver's role in the, in the new show? This is what this is what I want, and this is what I'm working on. And there's no there's no there's no beans to spill, obviously, until I have a bean to spill. But um, I, I want to do the Green Ranger series. That's what I want to do. I want to you know the Green Ranger is like the the Wolverine of X Men and. I just feel that, you know, for real, like Wolverine can handle his own movie, Green Ranger can handle his own movie, and I want to bring back some people in the series and, and give it a history. Give Tommy Oliver the history that no one knows because going to a doctor, there's no history at all, and then going to Megaforce, I'm the Green Ranger, so your guess is as good as mine. Why I didn't come back as Dino, and why I didn't come back as this Ranger and that Ranger, and, you know, if they said Turbo, I'd be like, I don't know about that. But, uh... <laughs> But, uh, you know, so that's what, that's what I really want to do. And as far as being involved with Saban, I love Saban. I have nothing bad to say about Saban. He's a great guy. He's obviously relaunched the whole franchise. It was with Disney, and now it's brought back up again to relaunch the whole Power Ranger mega craze all over again. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, how was it like uh, filming the special for Superman Force? Special? It was, it was uh, very special. It was pretty weird filming because all the Rangers were there. On the, all of them in helmet heads, like not real, they're real, but all helmet heads, like hundred and something, whatever there were all around the hills. And it was kind of overwhelming because when I started, there was no one, just us, you know? So it like grew, the Power Rangers grew. So it was pretty overwhelming. It was, it was exciting to go back um, and to be the Green Ranger. And like I said, for you all, like my whole, why I think Saban loves to work with me and why I love to work with other people is I do things for the fans. Like, it's not about the money. It's not at all. Like, they called me and I said, I'll do it. Okay, great. You know, everyone got offered it, but no one did it. And it came down to why. That's the question. And we all know why is the answer. So for me, like, I would do anything. That's why I took the Green Ranger series. I do it for free. I told Saban, I'll do it for free. I want to do it for my fans. I love the reactions of seeing my fans go, Oh, wow, you know what I mean? And, and money can't buy that. You know, when you see that enjoyment or you hear that excitement or, you know, uh, I had a fan that was crying today, money can't buy that stuff. That's like emotions, you know what I mean? And, and it makes me feel good. So that's why, you know, I do the series and we do My Morphin Life as we started the whole reality show is just for fun. 
you know, and it turned into something big now, and it turned into season two, and we got bigger networks looking looking at it. So I believe if you're passionate about something and you do it for fun, not work, you'll 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 survive longer than anyone else. I open a dojo here in Puerto Rico. Man, I would love to open a dojo in Puerto Rico, but I would never work at it. I would just lay at the beach. <laughs> I would love to. I'd be like, be classes there. are open, man. Let's just kick back at the beach. Yes, sir. <laughs> I said, relax. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> we just, we just learned to. to yeah, it would be cool. But I'd probably be lazy. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. Thank you, buddy. Hi, Jason. Hi. First of all, it's an honor to be here. Thank you, you buddy. You. And my question is if you were able to do like a Marvel superhero or a DC superhero, which world would you apply to? Um, I always think about like what role I would fit, you know what I mean? Because like when you ask that you always think, but if, but overall, if I didn't have a choice, like as far as if they didn't care what I looked like, what my tattoos look like, all that, I love Wolverine, he's my favorite character. Um, I know Wolverine now has all these movies and I know Wolverine is overplayed and overdone, everyone's like Wolverine, but I, th I would say, it's true, I mean, I, I think Wolverine is awesome. Um, Amen. But, you know, so, I think, I think, I do the same. There's a character that I wanted to play. It, the comic book was called Hellshock, and it's a uh, um, it's a special series. They only came out with four, but they pulled it off the market. But he's he's like the crow, and it's a mix between um, it's it's kind of crazy. His face is painted half of it's painted with the red cross, and he's kind of like half good and half evil. His dad's like the devil. His mom's from heaven, and he's like the crow, and he watches over you know pastures. A pretty cool, interesting story. But I remember. I saw that book, and then I was going to do the movie, but then, again, it didn't go nowhere. But, I mean, overall, Marvel, I would say, like, you know, Wolverine. I mean, I'm okay with any spandex, you know, so. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, buddy? Hey, man. Uh, Long-time fan. Thank you. I have a silly question and a comment. Okay. Okay. On the show, you guys had all distinctive, like, grunts and yells, yours especially. Would you, how'd you come up with that? Man, that's, and, um, it's funny because key eyes, from the very beginning, go watch episode number one. Nobody key eyes correct. Everybody, bah, yeah, like it's, just, it's from here. A key eye is supposed to come from the bottom of your stomach. And it can't be, you can't say, say this. It needs to, oh, from here. Oh, and it comes from here, within, not, oh, and everyone did that. Everybody. So when I started the show, I was like, oh. God, I never want a key eye like them. So watching the key eyes change. Everybody starts hearing my key eyes and they don't want to look silly. And then the key eyes got changed. I'd hear people practice their key eyes. I would hear people practice their key eyes on set. Like I'd hear Austin over there. Like, what the heck, man? Like, you know? They were like, probably in the bathroom looking at them. You know? So my key eyes have always been there. You can look at it. We saw a video when I was 10. And my key eyes were the same. But it comes from within. And it's, it's kind of like if you ask a singer or, you know, how'd you get that voice? It's kind of like, uh, God gave it to me. It's just kind of here. So there's no, there's no specific, but that was my trademark moves. You know, the key eyes, and I was known for that. And my kicks were first time doing those kind of kicks. And, you know, so it became like a, I just took what I knew in martial arts and put it to the screen. Because I was a martial, I was a sensei and I still am, but I had lots of kids that look up to me even before Power Rangers. So, you know, when Power Rangers came, it just, magnified by a um, thousand times, you know? So um, I just love working with kids. I love key eyes and I love karate and I stay true to it. But I know you have a comment. Yeah. Um, okay. I was thinking you'd be perfect for like Johnny Cage for Mortal Kombat. Johnny Cage? Really? <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. It's interesting. I'll take it. Um, Thank you. I have two questions that I would like to ask. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, the first question is, with the progression of Tommy Oliver as a character from Green Ranger to Doctor to where he is now in Super Mega Force, what do you think will happen to him after? Like, will there be any more appearances by him and will they be relevant to the series? And the second question is kind of a joke. Would there ever be a possibility in the future of a Wolverine Ranger? A Wolverine Ranger. <laughs> if there was, I'll play that one. Um, <laughs> Uh, in, in regards to the first one, what I what I don't have the answers for is what I'm trying to get the answers is like I said, the Green Ranger series is going to fill in where I've been and where I'm going. That's pretty much what it's going to be. Um, and we have a lot of people that are interested in the Green Ranger series. I mean, it's just flooding up and right now, and, and I just want to put history to where I'm where I was, 
where I, I wasn't mega force and where I'm going. Because ultimately, that's the only way to do it, is the Green Ranger series to tie in history, because we need the history. And it's, it's not like uh, Dino Thunder, where you have like five minutes to go through everything and look and say, this and that. I learned more there than I ever did. I don't even know the lines, you know? Um, but it needs a little bit more. So that's where I would say where I want it to go. As far as where Tommy's going, who knows? 20 years later, you know, he's still, and I say Tommy, like the Green Ranger is the most popular character of all times just because of the way that they branded it and the way that my character was. And I was on my own and I came to save people. And to be honest, that's what I would rather do than lead. I would never took over as a leader. I'd just rather be on my own, do my own thing, getting calls. All right, guys, I'll be there, save them, and then come back, you know? That'd be the ultimate, ultimate character for me. So hopefully that answers your question. Thank you very much. All right, buddy, you can come grab one of these two, buddy. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, my question is, when you were filming, I mean, filming all the series, how was your life with all those other actors? Or you always get along with them, or there was difficulties? Um, I think when time was over, you just wanted to go home. You know what I mean? I mean, we spent 12 to 14 hour days, six days a week for year after year after year. There's a point where, you know, it's not what you see on TV, you know, and it's, sometimes it's like everyone, Ooh, rah, rah, let's go, ha, ah, cut. All right, bye, I'm going home. Um, if you guys are interested in opening a karate school, I'd be happy to run it for you guys. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but, you won't um, go to the beach and, and you'll teach class? Yeah, you could go to the beach, I'll All teach right, class. <laughs> um, my question is regarding the Power Rangers movie reboot. Uh, we don't know much about it, but if they let themselves go with the material from the show, they could easily make a Green Ranger movie where the Green Ranger is the villain. Yeah. What would you like to actually see in the movie? That'd be great, man. I think right now, you know, in regards to if they're trying to balance it out, think about what they want to do. I know I want the, the, the Green Ranger villain would be cool. I mean, I just want to be part of it. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to, again, see the Green Ranger movie. I'd like to see... I don't want to take nothing away from a reboot. You know, because they got to hire new actors. We're not high school kids no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, pick me, pick me. Nah, pick whoever. Either make me a special guest appearance like Johnny Depp did in, in 21 Jump Street and let me run with my own what I want to do with the Green Ranger series. So they want to reboot it. So I don't want to interfere with any reboot or anything like that. But I do want to run interference as far as what my fans want to see happen is I want that to, I want to be proud of a reboot or I want to be proud of something that they're going to do because it makes me look good or it makes me look bad. So whatever decision they make, I'm happy for. I think a Green Ranger villain would be, would be awesome. You know, even if I played a villain or, uh, I don't want to, I don't, it's very careful on what I want in the reboot because remember a reboot means you erase and start over again. So if I'm in there, as another character, then I'm kind of starting another generation, not as Tommy, as something else, and I don't want to do that for my character. That's why I'd rather just leave the reboot alone and get my Green Rangers film going. You know, so I don't have to worry about it. I'll just let them do the whole new thing, and I'll carry on the old tradition over here, and we'll have some for the new, and this for the old, and we're good to go. You know what I mean? Sounds good. Thank so, you. Thank you, buddy. I have, um, I have been uh, your fan since I was a little kid. Thank I you. had the first movie. I have a question. When the when you return as a Black Ranger in Dino Thunder, how how do you feel about it? Um, I felt I felt it definitely felt different returning to a cast of Power Rangers because it was so popular at the time. Like you know, they were telling everyone who worked on it, "Oh man, we're doing Power Rangers." They're like, yeah, they're like Jason Frank's coming back. I'm like, Whoa, dude, Tommy! Wow, it was like I was a legend on there. Ten years ago, they're like, oh my god, I'm so, I used to watch you as a kid. All the rangers that were rangers on Dino Thunder used to watch me as a kid. So they used to come up and be like, oh my god. So I kind of felt like, like a, you know, a Snoop Dogg of rap, you know? Like, <laughs> Snoop Dogg's gonna rap on someone's record, and they're like, you know, Snoop Dogg's coming in. So I kind of felt like a legend at that time, filming with the guys. And it felt good going back, because... If I do go back, I wanted to go back as a ranger. I don't, you know, I don't want to come back as a different character, you know, even if I got to pass on the powers or mentor someone, you know what I mean? So it, it felt good going back. A lot, a lot different than the other shows, but it felt good. I like that cast a lot. Dino, Dino cast was fun. Um, my question is, like, it's kind of obvious that your favorite um, part of your career was being the Green Ranger, but there has to be, like, a least favorite one. Yeah. Hey, Steve, we can roll some stuff on here, just close-up shots for the show. Steve's the cameraman of My Morphin Life back there, so 
when you see them, just, you know, you don't have to get all crazy, but we'll just do a couple <laughs> entry shots and stuff. Um, well, since the White Ranger, the, since the White Ranger, um, you know, the beatdown, White Ranger beatdown versus Scorpion, the White Ranger's really starting to, to grow on me a little bit more. The only issue is if I can't wear my hair white on tour because I don't look old, you know? <laughs> so that's why I, I uh, paint it green. But, um, I mean, obviously the least favorite one is, is Turbo, just because I didn't complete that, you know, series um, by choice. Uh, and most favorite was green. Most, I, I remember it a lot. But also the White Ranger now, though, too, I would play the White Ranger more than I played on the Green Ranger. So the White Light episode was the biggest ratings of all times on Power Rangers history. It was who was the White Ranger? Who is the White Ranger? And then I had to be like, Shh, yeah, yeah, suckos, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but the White Ranger I definitely like. Uh, if you would put them in order, I'd probably put them in order of the Green, of the green which I never, no one's actually put them in order. But I'd say Green, White, um, Dino Thunder Black, uh, Zeo, and Turbo, for whatever reason. I think because I like the color black, and I don't mind red, it's just I didn't have a shield. But I did have the star, so I used to tease everybody. I used to be like, yeah, man, you know who the star of the show is, dude. I used to be like, shut up! And like, dude, it's got a star right here on my helmet, dude, all right? Be quiet. I used to rile everybody up, and they used to fall for it all the time. <laughs> Thank you. You can grab one. Good afternoon. Thank Hi. you for being here. Um, my question is, uh, what was your reaction when you was approached to do the first con here in Puerto Rico, and how this doing cons has changed your life? Um, my first reaction, they said, "Hey, the, like, do you want to do the Puerto Rico Comic Con?" I went. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, for real. They're like, Puerto Rico. Remember, I was like, yeah, I want to do the Puerto Rico Comic Con. That'd be awesome. I always wanted to go to Puerto Rico. Cons have definitely switched gears in my life. Um, I think we, we, it's affected, you know, more at, at home and, and doing, our, doing our daily routines that we have. Fridays, we'd go out and Saturdays, we'd make a family day. And Sundays, we'd go to church and do all this. So it's really like um, half of my life I spend now in the last few years, 50% of it. 60% has been on tour, so it's in the airplanes. It's the only thing that gets me through cons is you guys, the energy. Like I could care less, like about, about the money and what we have is like who cares? Like I want to feed off energy. That's what my lines are. You know, you get pumped up. That's the only way for me to continue to do this stuff because I do so many of them. I have probably 40 shows in the last, you know, several years or last year and a half, and people always say, "How do you have so much energy? Are you on drugs?" You know, stuff like that. <laughs> um, and uh, I have a lot of energy because I feed off energy. Well, I was wondering, curious, in the future, do you think your daughter could be a Power Ranger? Oh yeah, I, I think I think she will. I mean, she's like, and I think Jenna's, and I'm not just saying this because you know how you're, you know, when you're like, oh, that's my son or that's my daughter, and even if they're ugly, you're proud. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. Well, you know, I'm just saying. Parents are like that. Oh, you know. So I'm just saying, as as an outsider, you know. I think she could, because she knows karate, she does gymnastics, she's going through some pretty intense acting classes, like I'll joke around with her all the time, right, give her scenes, and she'll have to like, you know, play little scenes at dinner, so I'm training her, and I, I think just, I am, but I think overall, she, she loves it, she's, I mean, she's a great martial artist, she does back handsprings, back handsprings, back flips, like, she's like, let me see you do that, daddy, I'm like, be quiet, you know? so, uh, but I, I definitely think, right? Would it be that hard to get into your karate academy? Um, no, we got to um, actually, I never talk about it, but I have a, which I should, I have a social media site that uh, it's train me JDF, pretty easy, trainmejdf.com. And it's a social media site where I'm able to reach out to everybody around the world and train. So, um, uh, you know, certain people, I'm gonna have stunt classes on it and just a bunch of stuff. So social media is like the way to go. If you have a DVD at home and you play it in the DVD player, um, you know, it's the same thing. You just log on, work out, do a little workout video. We filmed some stuff here. Me and Steve did a little workout video here. Um, Tammy's gonna have some fitness stuff and I'm gonna be able to reach out uh, to everybody. And you'll be able to actually, some classes, you'll be able to see me and talk to other people in class from around the world. Um, it's not going to be like that's the only thing you need. Obviously, that's just something that you need to, you know, add to your arsenal of training. But it's uh, something that I'm pretty excited about because now I'm able to do what I want to do pretty much around the world. And I can shoot from anywhere around the world and still do what I love to do. I love teaching. 
you know, I love teaching karate. Regardless of one people, 100 people, 1,000 people, doesn't matter. I just love doing it. Something I love to do. Like, you guys love to go to cons. I love skydiving. I love, um, you know, karate. And this is stuff, like, I do it for a hobby. So just imagine if you got a job to travel around the cons, around the world, and get to dress up in anything that you want to dress up and got paid at the same time. It would be like your job. That's karate for me. To do my dream job and actually make a living at it and a good living. I got a thousand students underneath me. And you know, so um, yeah, I got pants on a little bit. I don't want anything to rip, but uh, <laughs> then they uh, unleash the dragon tag. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, take a picture. Sometimes I say things out loud and I really don't think I do. <laughs> hey, Jason. Uh, fact and a question. Uh, yeah. First fact. I also have my birthday on June 16th. What? <laughs> so you want a piece of her cake? Is that what you're asking? I don't think she's by the chance of another meeting. Oh, oh crazy over here. Jeez. Man. Woo <laughs> Okay, my question is what's your biggest blooper on the Morphin episodes? Oh, the Morphin episodes? Yeah. Oh, do we have bloopers? <laughs> you know, like failures. Steve, do we have any like bloopers, like mistake stuff? Yeah. Where's Steve? Where's Steve? Like, do you have any oh, do we have any bloopers? Of course not. <laughs> you have to, you have to stay tuned and watch. Some will make the air, some won't. But uh, lots of stuff happens. <laughs> a couple more questions, right? And then we gotta yeah, get down there. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. Here, take take a. Piece of the cake here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason. Hey. Actually, follow up on what my brother, brother asked. Um, how about any memorable bails on the original ones? Do you remember anything, any couple of whoopsies you guys did with, in any fighting scenes or anything like that? Oh, like uh, accidents and any stuff? Any memorable, you know, bails or whatever? Well, the first time I started on the show, I was like fighting putties and all that stuff. and. Uh, you know, they came up to me afterwards, they're like, man, you know this ain't a real fight scene, right? You know it's not real. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm come from the real stuff. You know, they're like, you're just supposed to pretend to hit us. I'm like, I'm thinking, well, that's your stuff, man. Why, you know? Why wouldn't they? So I had to learn Hollywood Kung Fu. I had to learn how to, like, pull my moves. I thought, you know, I thought it was just a good catch. I thought it was just stunt guy reaction. I thought that's their job. Just like, bang, boom. But stunt guys don't like that very much. So I had to, I, they had to teach me Hollywood Kung Fu. Hollywood? Kung Fu! <laughs> <laughs> so, Alright, mate. Hey, Jason, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, my question is if, is if you could make any movie that doesn't have to do with Power Rangers, what kind of movie could you do? Because I, I can imagine you doing parkour, jumping around off um, buildings and stuff, but what would you like to do? Probably, I mean, I like action. But I'd probably have to pick like some like some kind of like drama so people can see my acting side of me. You know what I mean? Like a real dramatic movie. I'm not too crazy though. But um, something that have like action, but something that would captivate the audience too, so people can see your acting versus anyone who kick, punch, and block. I mean, and say, hey, over there, you know. But a movie like I, I don't know. I mean, movies I like are like. Um, um, like lethal weapon movies are cool, like something like a lethal weapon or something like we do like a Mad Max movie or um, something that has comedy, drama, humor, action. You know, I wouldn't necessarily know what movie to exactly do because, you know, from Power Rangers, and that's mostly all I know. But uh, I could definitely do it all. It just depends on, on the movie itself, you know what I mean? Huh? One Warrior was alright. I mean, it wasn't my favorite movie, but you know, it was a good movie. I mean, it was. I didn't have no choice on it at all. I just had. To, I was just a hired actor on that movie, so it just got released. So it's a video gameish movie. It's cool, but not my dream movie, you know. But um, it's pretty much what I would do. Talking Guys, I'm gonna. Um, oh, go ahead. Talking about video games, would you do any voiceovers? Oh, I would do voiceovers exactly. all the time. Yeah. I mean, I, I would love to do voiceovers. I just don't have a voiceover acting agent. And, I just, you know, I've got so many other things going on right now. But, um, but yeah, for sure, I would do voice okay. Bueno, ya eso sería todo por la sesión. Eh, thank you all very much. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Make sure to uh, stay close to our uh, Instagram, JDF, FFN.
And Jenna set of hers up. Tammy Frank, one, two, three, four. What? One, two, three, three, three. Thank you, Jenna, for that one. All right. Thank you, guys. It's morphin' time. That's right.